Hi, my name is Paul Grogan and welcome to the fifth video in my series of tutorial videos for Endless Winter. This video I'm going to be teaching you how to play with the Cave Paintings expansion and then you're going to see a full three player playthrough. I'm joined by Peter. Hello. And Stephen. Hello. And if you just want to learn how to play Cave Paintings you only need to watch the start of this video uh, but I will put a timestamp to where we start the playthrough and as I say you can then watch a full three player playthrough of the game. Now today we're using just the base game and cave paintings. As I mentioned in the last video, you can mix and match all sorts of things in this game. You can use some of the Ancestors expansion, you could use all of the Ancestors expansion, you can use Rivers and Rafts, and you can combine whatever expansions you want to. But today we've stripped it back to basics, just the base game, none of the additional modules, but we are playing with cave paintings. Just a few things before we start. First of all, a big thank you to Fantasia Games for asking me to create these videos. And although this video is sponsored by Fantasia Games, I do also rely on the support of my Patreon campaign in order to keep the channel going. So if you enjoyed this video and you found it useful, then please consider supporting me at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. The other thing is we are going to try our best today to get all of the rules correct and make sure we don't make any mistakes. But just in case after this video has gone live, somebody points out that we missed something, I will add Klingon subtitles into the video. So if you're watching this, please go to the subtitles, turn the subtitles on, change it to the Klingon channel, and then any mistakes that we found afterwards will appear there. Okay, that's all of that out of the way. Let's dive into cave paintings and let's explain what's new. The first thing to explain is that we have a fifth action column. So in addition to the four action columns that we have uh, before, we have a fifth column, which is all about painting. We've also got a new sacred stone tile. You can see at the top, there's a little icon of the horse on there. That means this is the sacred stone tile for this expansion. And if you're using the Cave Paintings expansion, you must always use that sacred stone tile. It is for me era one, and that must always be in the game. The rest of them have been chosen at random as normal. The other thing, if we look at the terrain board, you will notice there is a new type of terrain. Now this has replaced one of the glaciers. So in a three-player game, you use six glacier tiles, but this has replaced one of the glaciers, uh, and you only use this if you're playing with the Cave Paintings expansion. We've also got some extra culture cards. There are five extra culture cards, I believe, which are shuffled in. Uh, so yeah, so these culture cards will be shuffled into the normal culture cards. They may come out, they may not come out. The other big part of the expansion is that each player has their own player, but their own Cave Paintings board that they are going to be drawing on. So this is mine. Now these boards are actually two-sided. So one side is the woolly mammoth, and if you want to, every player can use the same side of the board, or you can all use your own ones that are unique for your particular type of animal. Now, you will notice on here, we have two main things. We have dots, we have blue dots, red dots, and we have gray dots. And we also have spaces in between the dots where you're gonna be drawing lines. So the two things that you're gonna be doing on this board is you are gonna be painting dots. Whenever you get the ability to paint a dot, you simply colour in one of the dots, and then whenever you get the ability to draw lines, you draw lines between two of the dots. You'll notice that there's already a line drawn on my board. All the boards are slightly different, and I've got a black dot there, a black dot there, and two black dots here. That means those dots are already painted for me, uh, and I've already got a line here. Now, when you surround one of the areas in the body, you get all of the benefits printed inside that area, and you cross them out. They are a one-use only, uh, you surround the area and you get all the benefits. The leg benefits are slightly different. The way that the leg benefits work is you don't get anything when you surround them, but you notice the eclipse icon here. Every eclipse phase, you will gain the benefits of all of your leg areas that have been surrounded. So you get them early, you're going to get lots of benefits. Also, at the end of the game, you're going to get points for the longest contiguous line around the outside of your animal. If you look carefully, Around the outside of the animal, we've got this dashed line. So that that's the only thing that counts. So if the game was to end now, I'm going to get no points because I don't have anything around the outside of my animal, but you get the longest, uh, longest contiguous line. Now, the cost here is for painting a dot, but only when you uh, use the action column. So the action column, if we just have a look here, this top part here allows you to paint as many dots as you want to, as long as you can pay for them. And the cost to paint the dots with that action is printed on here. So to paint a blue dot is two labor, a red dot is one labor and a food, and a gray dot is a labor and a tools, but you can always paint a lesser dot. So any time in the game when you get the ability to paint a gray dot, you could actually paint a red dot or a blue dot instead. Now, torches are a thing in this game, and you get torches from various places. And whenever you get a torch, you can either ignore the torch and just take an idol instead, 
or you can use the torch to fill in this box here. So what you will do is, if I chose to fill in this box with my first torch, for example, now whenever I paint dots using the action column, it only costs me one labor to paint a blue dot. The next torch that I get, again, I could get rid of it for an idle or I could paint that one and then I could paint that one. There's the maximum you can do. You can't shade in the ones on the right hand side and that reduces the cost of painting dots using the action column. But let's just have a look at the sacred stone tile. So this sacred stone tile that we've got, this is two points for each torch on your board. So if I had that sacred stone tile and I had all of these three filled in, that would get that sacred stone would get me six points. Right, so yeah, that's the main thing. Now, at the start of the game, it does recommend that all players draw in the head of the animal. Um, so you can practice your artistic skills, mine aren't very good, um, but just to make it look a bit more complete if I was to fill in anything else on it. Right, we also have on these, we have a little uh, stand where the pen can go, which is which is quite cool, so you don't lose it. Right, what else have we done? Let's, let's talk about this action column. So we've already mentioned the top bit. This is paint as many dots as you can, paying the cost. This here is draw as many lines as you want. So there are a number of ways that you can draw lines in the game. Sometimes you will see one line, which is draw one line. Sometimes you'll see two lines, which is draw two lines. If you see three that are faded out like that, that means draw as many lines as you want. And the bonus is gain a torch, which we've just mentioned. Uh, and this is you immediately gain one of your completed leg benefits. So leg benefits, remember, are normally during the eclipse phase, but that one means you gain it immediately. That's what the lightning bolt is. Also, if you just go back to my player board, there was one thing, uh, back to my cave painting, uh, on the right-hand side here, there is a sacred stone tile with a lightning bolt in it. What that means is when I surround that area, I can immediately gain the benefit of one of my sacred stones. So I can score points for it as if it was the eclipse phase. Right, let's have a look at the new megalith board. So we have a new megalith board or a new megalith tile included in the game. Now you can either use this to replace the animal one or the culture card one, or you can add it in. If you really wanted to, you could add it in so that you actually have five tiles. We've replaced it, but as you can see, the benefits of this are, uh, that's paint a red dot and draw two lines, paint a blue dot, draw one line, paint a gray dot, and draw as many lines as you want to. So again, you will see these icons on various places in the game, on cards, on effects, and things like that. We have a new animal as well, the Hagerman horse. There's five of those in there. You only use that if you're playing with the Cave Paintings expansion, and that gets added in there. Uh, and the tip ability of that is gain a food, gain a torch, draw, uh, paint a red dot, and draw two lines. The last thing to explain is we have a new tribe card. This is the painter. And I'll put a big image of this on screen now, but the painter replaces the shaman. So we're not using the shaman anymore. We're using the painter. Uh, you use this if you're using the cave painting expansion. The painter provides you one and a half labor when you play it. Uh, the main ability is that if you use the painting action with the painter, you get an additional half a labor and one food. And the eclipse benefit is similar to the one we saw earlier on. It is gain the ability of any of your completed leg areas. Okay, so that's the painter card covered, and that's everything. So we've done all of the setup, we've chosen our chiefs, we've done the turn order, we've drawn our start cards. Stephen's going first. I'll go first. Come on, feasts, so pay some food. I'll take a painter, please. You can take a painter yep. to your discard pile. Yep. And then let's do some painting. Okay, right. So we're going to see the painting action in effect. You draw as many, paint as many dots as you want to. Okay, so a tool. So that should be on two, down to one. And a tribesman. So to a tool and one labour. We'll allow you to colour any dot, but you can do grey, yep. I will then try and do a blue, which is going to be one food. So use a food as labour. Yep. And then so I need three to do, don't I? So let's go those. Oh no, he's two and a half. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you've got one labour floating at the moment. No, I've, just, I've used that one. But you, yeah. you spent a food though. Yeah, so I need yeah, the food is going to go here. Oh right, okay. So I'm going to paint a no, yes, paint a red dot. So yep. I need one labour One labour. Let's do this lady. Okay. So that is a... So that's a labour and a food, which is red. Red yep. dot. 
Then we want to do a blue. Oh, if you can get the blue and get that completed. Yes, if we can do the blue. So that's two labour. Unfortunately, that is going to be all of my cards. I know it's not, it's him. Yeah. Two labour. Two and a half labour. Use both of those labour to paint a blue dot. Paint a blue dot. And that's that area completed. To go there. So Stephen has one completed leg area. Yes. Okay, so and now, now I get to do... So you finish with the painting. I have. So you can draw as many lines as you want to. It's very expensive. I can't afford any more. So I'm going to draw that one there. That one there. There. Point. That one there. And that one there. Oh, you've started your outside edge I, of your yeah, animal. I've, yeah, I've got a point. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, when you complete a leg area, you don't get anything immediately, but it will be every eclipse phase. Or, in fact, now. Now, So yes. the bonus is Torch. Do you want I'm to reduce to the cost reduce of your blue dots? the dance? cost of painting. And you get the ability of one of your completed leg areas. Which will be this one Which here. is that one which is... Place a camp. Out of camp. Nice. Well, you say nice, but I have one You have one card in hand. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice in the way that you've got a leg benefit, which will now trigger every eclipse phase. Yes. And maybe resting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Peter. Okay. I'm going to put Chief Thunderpaw uh, into uh, the... Is migrate that, action. The migrate action. Yeah. Uh, I will use his special ability to turn food into tools. Um, I will then use those two tools to build two, uh, two more camps, camps in the middle. Two more camps, yeah. And then I need four... The magic for labour. For labour. That's a brave and a tribeswoman for for labour. Yep. Yep. Which moves what we're doing, so one to the two. One, no. two, I, I think, I three, think, four. I think that's the best move. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. <laughs> or possibly, yes, possibly, possibly that. there. Uh, that's, we, we know what Peter likes to do. <laughs> uh, and then I will spend three. Three food to convert those three into a, a village. Yeah. That's my go. It's not quite as good as previous villages because it's on a it's on a glacier tile, but it's on a megalith. It's on a megalith tile, and Peter likes his megalith. I could have I could have gone over there, which would have been a better tile, but I chose to go there because I like my megaliths, as you have so accurately observed. Okay. And now you get to place a camp and move a camp. Oh yes. So another camp back place on the base terrain. Where do you want this one to go? Uh, on the to uh, on the on the torch, I think. The new one. Okay. Yep. Yes. All done. Right. Um, so I think I'm going to go hunting, and I'm going to use Chief Tuskbreaker to go hunting. Whenever Chief Tuskbreaker goes hunting, I gain a tool. I'm then going to spend... Because um, I'm tempted to take all of these if I can. <laughs> uh, I think I can. So I'm going to use the Brave for two and a half labour, the tribeswoman for one and a half. That's four labour. Four labour and four tools. I'm just going to grab all of these. So that's a second stag moose. Uh, two saber tooth cats. And one of the new Hagerman horses. Um, I think that's it for the first bit. Oh, I can, I can use the tribeswoman ability to spend a food to gain a tool. So I'll do that. We'll then move to here, and I will tip one of the saber tooth cats, which gets me two food and two tools. And then we're going to get random animal from the top of the deck, and it's a ground sloth. And that's my go done. Back to you, Stephen. Okay. Um, well, I think, as I said, this is going to be a rest. Okay. Draw, so a, card. draw a card. Tip an animal if we'll you want to. Tip that one for one tool and four for food. food. And you're done. That's it, done. Okay. Uh, resting again. Draw a card. I love it when the other players rest because there's more bonuses <laughs> for me. Uh, tip the woolly rhino. Sorry, woolly rhino. Um, but you give, do give me six food, which is a nice payoff. Um, it, it's food to the maximum, isn't it, the woolly rhino? Um, no, it's just... Oh, it's it. So it's the, the woolly mammoth that's full yeah, food. I've got one of those as well, but... Right, okay. Okay, so that's my turn. You drew a card? I did. Right, okay. Um, well, yeah, let's go and get some of those bonuses. Well, I've got three tools, so I'll go here. Um, we'll play Tribesman, Tribesman, a food as if it was a labour, so that's three labour, 
and three tools to take three different cards. I will take a Pathfinder. No point taking a Painter because I've not done any painting yet. Uh, we'll take a Hunter. I'll take a Crafter. So they go to my hand. I am then going to spend a food to take a Hunter to my discard pile. Bury a card, I'm going to bury another card, and I'm going to get an idol. I'm burying two cards, it will be these two. Done. Lovely. Right. Stephen, your third turn. I need some culture in my life, so can we go crafting and develop please? action? Yep. So I'm going to spend, I've got two food to gain here. At when some I point in this turn, yeah. So I'm going to spend a tribesman and so it's one. Two food for one labour. And then so one. that was two, three. Yeah, so it's three, three labour. Oh, shall I go for more? So I'm going to take this one. Ground Pigments is one of the new cards, yep. Oh, do I go? Yes, I'm going to go all in. Are you spending another three one, food? One, two, three food, and I will take... For three labour. This... Oh, it's another painting card. It's another I painting didn't realise that we got two of them. Yeah. Oh, there's another one here. There is another one there. <laughs> there's only five. <laughs> <laughs> And then for my chief, Chillstone, I will take two food. Yeah, the other two are in here. That's gone there. And then I will create an Eclipse Pile. Eclipse Pile of how many cards? Three. Three cards and resting. Did you get your two food for your chief, Chillstone? I you did. did. Okay. Peter. Well, um, I think... I'm going to do something I haven't done before. And build I'm a megalith. Rest again. <laughs> I'm going to build a megalith. <laughs> um, no, I'm so not going to build it. Okay. I'm resting again. I'm not none, going to none burn of my us, mammoth. None of us got our altar culture card then to start um, with. No. I just draw a card. <clears throat> they may be coming in. Oh, uh, we forgot to do your thing. Oh, can I have a food and a tool? Lovely. Did you want the sacred stone? I, how much does the sacred stone cost? Your first one is a food and a tool. Then yes, a food and a tool. Please. Which you then immediately get back. Which I will take as the You're going to take torch. the new one. Yes, yeah, because you've started that. Because I've started it. And then we I get all back. excited. I did. So then, Peter, you've rested. I'm resting again. So it's me. So there's no bonuses available. Um, um, in fact, that was my last turn. Oh, so yeah, so you're, you're creating your eclipse pile, aren't you? So I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five cards in my eclipse pile. <laughs> big, big bids. Um... Well, I'll tell you what, I think I'm going to do the same. I'm going to rest, I'm going to draw a card, I'm going to tip a saber tooth cat, gets me two food and two tools. Uh, I'm going to put five cards in as well. Oh, right. Okay. So, wow, big plays. Eclipse. eclipse well, when you plays. say big plays, you saw me pick up two culture cards, yeah, so I'm true. just going to have them back. And, and I, drew, I drew one of mine. Okay. So I've got... Five and a half labour. I have three. Peter's seven. Done. Seven. So Peter is first, I'm second, third. Okay, so Peter, first of all, megalith time. Uh, yes, megalith time indeed. Let's go here mm -hmm. and here. Two food. Oh. Didn't want that? not go there because I'm full on, You're full on food. food track. Um, could go here and do some painting, or you could go over here and get some tools. Oh, this is interesting because this has completely thrown me. Um, yeah, I've got a slightly slightly different layout of this forgotten, board. I've forgotten that I was full on food because otherwise that was just going to be the right place to go. So it, that is no longer the right place to go, which means that. Shall I do some painting or shall I get some tools? Uh, I'm a bit low on tools, so let's go here and here and have a tool. One tool. Uh, so that's my megalith for yep. there. Now all of your cards that you played. So I place a place a camp. A camp and get a food. Get a food. And the others get me nothing. Yep. And then terrain board benefits. Okay. So I guess so you tool. get a torch. Torch. Which you can. Have on your board, or you can get an idle instead. Um, well, this definitely looks like it could be a good thing to do, but right now I'm going to go for uh, get an idle, idle yep. instead. Okay, so that's that done. 
Yes. You then get a Turul and another Megalith. Um, have I taken my... No, I haven't. Not for this one. I've taken tool, I take a Turul and another Megalith, which will be... Draw two cards. Draw two cards. Yeah. And okay. then I'm over here. Yeah, if you'd have had any completed leg benefits, they would have happened after you'd done your cards, but before the terrain board. Oh, right. Okay. Specifically in that order. So I get another card, yep. and I get a tool. Okay, all done. Yeah. Right, me, I get a card. Then I get these. So I'm going to do uh, that one first. Get two tools. And I'm going to do that one. Get a food, place a camp. Uh, and then I've got four movement points. So... I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. And now I get the terrain board benefits from all of these. That's four points and an idle. This one? Yep, idle up there, four points. Uh, and then my player board, which is nothing. Done. They don't get discarded just yet. Okay. We do yours first. So you got an idol from this. I'll have this idol. Yeah. Then we get that, which is bury a card. Buried. Terrain board is nothing. Nothing. And your player board is two points. Two, two you've got points a torch. for the torch. Yes. yes. Okay. We're all done. Discard our cards. Preparation phase for round two. So we draw five. Three. Thank you. We need some more cards in the hunting grounds. How many? Refill it back to one more than the number of players. Oh, it's another new one. Hooray! <laughs> so, lots of new ones have come out. Oh. <laughs> Seven. And... I think we're ready. So, Peter, you're up. More saber-toothed cats. Considering that's out, that's nice. Hmm. Did we do your leg benefit? No. We Which didn't do your leg benefit yet. There you go. Okay. That's something to remember. Mm. Any culture cards? Uh, yes. And maybe some more megaliths. Um, <laughs> I'm going to do some altars. Yeah. Place a megalith, um, which will go. Here. So two idols and bury a card. Two idols and stupid blood. Bury from hand, Bury, yes. or from your discard pile, or from your played area. Sorry, can I take that back? Yep. Is that okay? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play, okay. play that. Put the idols back down. <clears throat> Sneak preview that it's possible I might be playing altars in the near future. Did you get your tools back? Uh, no. Okay. No. Um, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to build two, two camps. camps. Yep. And then I need some. It's going village building again. Yep, we're going villaging. So. One and a half, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, I think. Okay. It's quite a lot of. Uh, That's a lot of labour. So you can stay there. Okay, so four and a half. No, five and a half. Five and a half labour. Okay, so where you where you moving? 
uh, let's have one on the, um, actually I could do this more efficiently, couldn't I? No, let's have one on the, on the tool hex. No, not that one. This, this one? one. Oh, one, yeah. two. So that's two. One on the food hex. Three, three four. four. One on the victory point hex. Five. Five. And, and then, then three, three food, food to build a camp there. To build a camp there. Yep. Oh, sorry, you're not a camp, a village. Village, yeah, yeah. village. Uh, and which takes me down to here. Which is place, place and move. And move it to... Um, can I have it on that idle space, please? Yes. Wow. And do I want to spend food... For a tool with a tribe Yep. I think it is, I can only do that once, can't I? Can only do it once. Yeah, only do at this once. point. Okay. I'm playing altars. I'm going to spend a tool. Place this. Um, and we will. I think. I think we'll we'll do. We'll do some painting. So I go there. And go there. That allows me to fill in a blue dot. Paint a blue dot. So we'll paint. Uh, hmm. I'm going to paint this one down here. Okay. Oh no, because then I get to draw a line as well. So no, we'll paint we'll paint this one instead. And we'll draw a line there. Okay, that's my megalith done, that's my culture card done. Um oh, now. Do I want one of those sacred stones? I'm not sure I do. Do I want to do any more painting at the moment? No. I think we might go hunting again. So we're going to use my chief again, which gets me a tool. Uh, and I'm definitely using two tools and two labour to pick up the two saber-toothed cats. Definitely doing that. I don't know if I want to do any more. Um, Yeah, why not? I'll send a hunter for two labour and another two tools. Just taking everything. Take those. Feeling hungry? Yeah. And then we'll tip a saber tooth cut for two food and two tools. You're not one of those people that filled up their car with toilet rolls during lockdown. Uh, I am. I am. We got a stag moose. Nice. That was lucky. I've accidentally fallen into a hunting strategy. <laughs> um... Done. Okay. Stuff then. Okay, so I'm going to play a culture to... So it's discard a card. Discard a card, which to is paint a culture card. Blue, red, and a grey, but remember you can always use lesser benefits. Mm. I think I'm going to go red. Mm -hmm. And blue. And... Blue. So instead of the grey, you do a blue. Yes. Right. But you can't draw any lines with that no, one. No. It's just painting of dots. Cannot. So. And you discarded a card. This card here is discarded. To do that, yeah. So I think then. Well, we better go painting again, but I'm not sure that I can afford much. Okay. I can afford. Blue, plenty of times. So let's do that. There's a blue. Oh, because because I have a you discount. get a discount. I have yeah. a discount there now. There's a blue. Right. Any more? Yes. That one. For another blue. Another blue. But that's going to go here. Okay. And then another one. For. Another blue, which might be this one here. We'll fit in that horn. Okay. There. Okay. That's done. And then draw as many lines as you want. As many lines wow. as I want. So that's that one there. That one there. That one there. 
Well, not that one there. Not that one. And carried away with this one. That is that one there, that one there, that one there. there and all of that. There and there and That's the entire there. bike legs done. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And then. And then. Torch. A torch. It's got to be that for you because of your sacred stone. Got to be that. And then you get the ability of one of your completed leg areas. Yes. So, why don't I... So that's two movement points, isn't mm, it? Yeah, which you can split or use no, for the I same I think one. I'd go here because I kind of... If I'm torching, I may as well try and torch. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, done. Back to you, Peter. Uh, let's do a bit of that. Um, he will turn a food into a tool. And I'll use one labour, two labour. Oh, sorry, before I do that, rewind. It was on three, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, You've not done that yet? Not done that yet. I'm going to, so this is where I play my altars. Right. So you spend a tool to... Pl to so I spend a tool to build a megalith. Build a megalith, and you want the yeah that one. So double so, idle. I want another tool. I might... mm. So there's only one tool remaining. Mm. Yeah, I think I'll have the tool. Okay. If I get nice scoring back, potential in the future. Yeah. Spent. So now I go here. Now I spend. Do I spend? Use it for labour. I might just save it and use it for labour, so in which case I don't... So you've not used your Chief's ability I'm yet. Not, can I use this instead? Yep. Sorry, I'm doing a lot of mulliganing here. Um, Sorry, it's minus five points for every mulligan. We'll, <laughs> okay. we'll, we'll work it out at the end. <laughs> okay, so, um, uh, so, right, three tools, one, two, three. Yep, and three labour. Three labour, one, two, three. So all your food is labour? No. No? Okay, two food and a card, yep. Gets me three. Three different cards. Uh, I have a hunter, a path. Uh, sorry, a hunter, a crafter, and an elder. There you go. Into my hand. Into your hand. And then, if you want to spend a food there, which I do, you get a tribe card to your discard pile. A tribe card to my discard pile, which will be. Um, that will be another crafter. Okay. So discard pile for that one, and then bury one, two cards. And gain an idol. Bury that one. Bury that one. And gain one idol. Right. All done? Uh, yes, that's me. Right. Okay. Well, let's play a culture card of communal feasts. Spending a food to get a pathfinder to my... Discard pile. Then, since I like free stuff, we'll go there. I will generate one labour, two labour, three labour to take a culture card. Now then. Do I want one of the painting ones? I think I do. I think I'm going to take this one. Charcoal paint. So that goes to my hand. Um, yeah, I'm then going to buy a sacred stone. So my first sacred stone is one food and one tool. And I'm not really doing any of those <laughs> um, at the moment, but hopefully I will in the future. I don't know, what am I going to do as my third action? When you did your sacred stone, mm -hmm. did you bury a card? I'm not sure we did. I have one card buried. Mm. I can't remember if we did do it. How else would I find? No, sure. Here. Nope, didn't do. You didn't, didn't do, do that. that so maybe you did. 
I think maybe I did. Maybe you did. Uh, none of these are any good. I mean, I'm going to build a village at some point. I just don't know where. So let's take... Let's take this one. I'm going to put it there, and I'm going to bury a card. With that one. Okay, and then I get food and a tool, and I'm done. Stephen. Oh, you caught me by surprise. Okay. Um, a culture card. Spend a tool. Place a megalith. Mm -hmm. So I'm torn now. Do I want to get my megaliths out, or do I want to draw two, two cards? cards. Mm. He is very good. I think I want to draw two cards. Yeah. It's interesting, when we first started playing this, we always placed our grey megaliths here just yep. to get the extra one out, but yep. now we've realised the power of some of these spaces. Mm. It's very strong. Okay. Any other culture cards? Uh, not for the time. Should that one have been... Oh, that that one should have been, been discarded, discarded. yeah. That's discarded. Right then. It just looked pretty, so I left it. <laughs> it did. Um, right, do I want to do something? All the bonuses have gone now, haven't they? Yeah. Hmm. That's going to happen. That'll happen. I think I'm going to rest. Okay. Draw a card. Can't tip an animal. Done. Peter, your third turn. Resting with my chief. Not tipping an animal. Drawing a card. That's my go. Uh, not quite. Eclipse file. Oh, yes. So much resting going on. Mm. It's hard work being a endless wintering. Painting is exhausting. Six. Six. Well, I'm playing that to fill in. Let's just show this on the on the big camera. Right, so I get two blue dots and as many lines as I want to. So I think I'm going to fill in... Uh, That one, and that one, and then as many lines as I want to, so I can fill in that there, that there, and that there. I think that's it. Yep, that's all I can fill in. Okay. So that was my culture card. Um, I'm then going to... Do I rest, or is there something else I want to do? Based on the fact that I've got one card in hand, I do have some tools, but there's no animals in the hunting ground. Somebody took them all. Um, could take another culture card if I can't play it. I could go there to get two more cards. That might be a better thing than resting. Yeah, I'm going to go here. So I'm going to play... Oh, it means I'm not doing that. Which means I'm not getting that. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I'm going to need... Oh, I don't think I can do it. Because I need three food to build a village. And I've only got three food. And I've only got one labour. Which is not enough because my camps are in the wrong place. So, yeah. I'll do it next time. So we're going to go there. I am going to spend two food as if it was labour and two tools to pick up two different cards. And I'm going to pick up a Pathfinder. Uh, I don't have any completed leg areas. I need red painting. Your Hegeman's horse would do that. Oh, we all... oh, it would. Can you? Mm. Okay. Let's, let's just let's just undo this. Let's put the pathfinder back. Let's put my two food and my two tools back. 
and let's have a think. Yeah, if I complete this, I'm going to get both of those. So your red dot from your horse which, and or, two lines. Yeah, I know. I mean, they do that, wouldn't it? Two it is. Lines. It is. It is and good. And two isn't points. It? Okay, you've talked me into it. Darn. I'm going hunting, <laughs> and I'm going to use the hunter. To go so, hunting. So I've actually got two labour. The first labour of which will be... Glyptodon. Reveal a Glyptodon and an Argentavis. The second labour with a tool is going to be to take the Argentavis. Do I take the Glyptodon as well? Mm. <laughs> it's probably a little you know, a little You, you know you want to. Um, no. No, I think we're going to do it. But we are going to tip an animal, and the animal is going to be the Hagerman horse. So that gets me a food, a red dot, and two lines. And a torch. Oh, and a torch. It's just... It's really good. It's really good. Um, now, you've already taken the sacred stuff of torches. So the only benefit of me taking the torch is... Reduce cost. A future discount on this. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. No, I'm I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the torch as an idol. We don't need torches where we're going. Um and then I get the red dot and I get two lines. One, two. Mm, nicely nice. done. Yes. Okay. Right. Hang on. It's not finished yet, is it? What's not finished? Because you've not got that bit oh. oh oh it's only two lines as well. It's two lines. So oh. one of those things will do you. Oh, that's cruel. So it'll be it's harsh. It'll be that it? one. It will be that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point. So how did, it was the it was the horse, wasn't it? Yeah, it yeah. was two lines. So oh. one line, two lines. That's fine. You In have fact, a fact. You have a bonus. Do you want the other one instead? I'll have the other one instead. Movement, because that's two movement instead of one movement. <laughs> Why not? There you go. Right. Still a point as yeah. well. I think that's me done. Okay. Uh, eclipse. Nothing in my eclipse pile. So I'm definitely going last. Okay, so I am going to play my horsehair brushes, which requires me to discard a card. It's probably going to be that one. Then I can paint a red dot and a grey dot. And fill in two lines. Which again isn't going to get me anything. Oh, hang on. No, yes. Let's not fill that red dot. Let's fill that red dot. And then two lines and could then be... two lines. Yep. But that grey dot is filled. Yep. Okay. okay. Yep, so that's my That's culture. your culture card done. I think then... So I could fill all of these... Just by going Just here. by going there. Yeah. Which might be worth it. So mm -hmm. let, me, let me do that, please. So your chief is yep. going painting. So he doesn't get his special ability. Now then. Yeah. Now then. You could do a lot. I could. So red costs me a food. Wow. Okay. So let's pay one food. One food for a red. For a red. And then... Can you generate three labour? Three labour. No, sorry, was it one, two, three labour? Three labour. Let's fill... Which you use for filling that, the three. That three and blue. that. Yeah, you've got the tribeswoman's ability to use if you want to. I probably... Oh, in fact, you're using oh, the painter when you're painting. Yes. So you gain a food. I do gain a food. Got to watch out for these things. Which you could immediately turn you into, could a tool into a tool if you wanted, if you wanted to. to. I'm going to get a tool... I'm going to get two food. Mmm. Let me just leave that from yep. the time being. Uh, move Draw down. as many lines as you want to. As many lines as I want to. Right. This is such a pretty bull I'm doing now. All of those legs are completed. Mm. That's going to be a huge amount of benefits. Okay, interesting. Let's, okay. let's see what happens. And points. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, the outside edge of your thing yeah. is quite good. Okay. So all um, done? Yes, and then no no bonus. Discard the cards and, and create your I, eclipse pile. And my eclipse pile is... 
So just just going back to earlier on, you did not bury a card when you placed that. So if you wanted to bury a card now, we'll let you do that. Lovely. How did I bury the other one then? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Okay. Reveal eclipse piles. <laughs> so Peter's first, your second. Did we third. did we trick Peter into I think so. spending too many cards? <laughs> <laughs> but he does get all the eclipse benefits. I them for the eclipse benefits. Huge amount of eclipse benefits. Because this is where most okay. of my game happens, is uh, in that one. Okay. Uh, so, um, megalith first. Megalith first. Let's megalith up. Where would you like it? Let's go it? here. So it's two idols and bury a card. Okay. Then we have the abilities of all of your cards. So. That's a tool. That will be tribe card a to your discard pile. Finder into my discard pile. That will be two tools. That will be place a village and so will place that. a camp. Place another camp, camp and get two food. And get two food. Okay, and that's it. Now we get the benefits of your cave painting. If you have any completed I leg areas, not. we do not. Now we do the terrain board. So let's go through the terrain board. You've got these three here. You've got that one, you've got those two, but you don't get that one. Yeah. So you've got one tool. Yep. You've got another tool. Yep. You've got two food. Yep. You've got an idol. And you've got a megalith. And two points. Oh, and two points. Yeah. Megalith. And a megalith. Um, More idols. Did we give you the two points for getting to there? No. Another two points. Let's go here. Two more idols. And a uh, bury a card. Then we bury another worthy tribesman. Okay. And then I get my board. Mm -hmm. So I draw two cards. Yeah, remembering that you don't idol. put those yeah, into not the discard deck yet, because that's significant. One, two. Uh, then I get another tool, which is food, and then I get another idol. Which is another three points. It's racing up that track again. Again. I thought I might try and beat him, but suddenly he's... And that's, I think, it for me. Done. Okay. Stephen, you get to draw a card. I will draw a card. Okay. Benefits of all of your cards in play? No. But, however, we are getting... So let's just show this on the big camera. Because it is it is a very impressive bull. So this is Stephen's cave painting. So he's going to get the benefits of all eight of these things right now. So let's it's, wander through them, shall we? It's so, the Eclipse way. So first of all, you get to bury a card. Bury a card. You gain a tool. Oops. Gain a tool, yes. You gain an idol. I have an idol. You gain two food. Two food. Place two camps. Two camps placed. Two movement points. Two movement points, okay. And then a red dot and two lines. Right. Is the last bit. So two okay. movement points, two a movement red dot, points. and two lines. So this is this is quite good. So if I go one, mm. two. Yep. That looks about right, doesn't it? Yep. So a red dot and two lines. A red dot. I can only draw one line, I think, with a red dot now. So I'm going to draw. One red dot here. Yep. And one line. Okay. And now terrain board benefits. So you get so a torch and a megalith. A megalith. So this megalith. Oh. Crikey. So let's do the torch. Mm -hmm. Done. Then the megalith. So grey and as many lines as I like. Yeah. It's kind of, but it's... Yeah, let's do that. Grey. Okay. Uh, paint a grey dot. Grey dot. And then as many lines as you can. Which is that just... One. Oh, and that one. That one. Oh, so that's completed. Which gets me a, a megalith, megalith and two tools immediately. 
So let's go with grey. Okay. Do you want to do the two tools first two before tools. we then do that one? Yeah. So that's another grey. Another grey. And as many lines as you want to. Another grey, which is going to go there yeah. and there. Okay, don't forget to cross out the two tools. Two tools are gone. So you get a culture card to hand and a tribe card and a to hand. a tribe card wow. to hand. Wow. Okay. You did say you were going to try doing the painting. I did say I was going to try and do the painting. you've almost finished Forsaking it. Forsaking everything else yeah. just to see where but, we headed on that one. Yeah. Okay. So, um, tribes person. Um, wow. And a culture card. Yeah. You probably don't want the one that paints red probably dots. Probably don't want red <laughs> dots You've got anymore. hardly any. I may want this one then instead. Yeah. Start working through these. Yeah. Is there anything there for idols? There is not. No. Let me take this one then. Okay. Which tribe would you like? Tribe card. Uh, tribe's card would be probably not the painter right now. Well, the painter's eclipse benefit is mm, sure is a leg benefit. It is a bit leg benefit. So it does count as idle, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. um, okay, let's take um, take a painter then. That's to your hand. That's to my hand. Right. So that was your that, that was, was your animal animal. That was your cave painting. Right. So now it's terrain board. No, we did the terrain board, I think, didn't we not? Because I had the torch. Oh, no, sorry. The, got the torch for that and a megalith for that. Sorry, it was, yeah, the, it was the terrain board. We were doing the We've terrain We've already board. done the thing. We've already done that. We've done that. That it's, did that. It's just this now. That did that, which yeah. did that, which yeah. did that. <laughs> so I Player get... board. Cool. One tool. One tool. And six points for your and sacred stone And two, file. four, six points. Nice. Which right. I'll get another two occasions. Yes. Fantastic. Strong. That is good. Right. Me. I've got an idol. Don't have any cards. I've got two movement points from here. Now, since this is not doing anything. I'm going to move. That one to there and that one to there. I'm then going to get... Do you not want your idle points? No, no, I'm happy with that. Okay. So I get four points and an idle. This one? Please. And two, two points. points. There you go. And now my player board, nil point, but I get a tool for that. That seems quite weak compared to your 95,000 benefits. <laughs> well, it's nice to see it. Yeah, it is nice, nice to, to see, see it. it. Okay, we're done. Mm. That was the end of era two. In actual fact, I can get my sacred not stone another three times. Yeah. Because I want to feel yeah. the tail. That was the end of round two. We now go to Gosh. era two. Okay. So we want three more animals in the hunting ground. We are now onto the era two culture cards. There are no cave paintings cards in the era two culture cards. I don't cards. need them. It's all good. Okay, right. Let's draw myself five cards. And I am going third, so I've got plenty of time. Uh, Peter, you're first. I'm going to be doing some altering. So I spend one tool, build the megalith. Where's it going to go? Yeah, I think. So one idol and one burial. I've done the same as I did last time. You have? I'm going to hold on to my altars okay. until I've got somebody that somebody I want to, to kill bury. Off. So we need to move this back. Sorry. It's all right. Were well, they looking at you? I'll get the, you can sneak <laughs> yeah. I'll get the hang of this. <laughs> I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> Still moving. Um, let's go here. Right. Um... Thought as you might. I'll want. Yeah. Get that um, third village out. Um, get that third village out. So, tool for a camp. Yep. Where do you want your third village to be? 
Let's just let's circumvent the whole. Right. Well, I've got moving stuff. You got two, two labour from that. Labour points. Yeah. So I think I want my th next village to be. Um, uh, here, I think. Here. here. You mean where I'm about to build? Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, it is the kind of obvious next place. It is idols. Sure. Okay. So to How build many there. Have you got? I need one, You're going to need one, two, three, four. Two, three, four, four labour. You've got two with that. Um, that tribesman. Yeah. And I've got a feeling he already knows what's going to happen to him fairly soon. So, I'm sorry, I need four points. You need there, four labour. Two, so seven, four, three. Oh, so, yeah. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three. So oh, he's a bit of food if you need to. Oh yes. Four. Okay. And then three food three for food. the for the village. Yeah. So here. Yeah. Okay. And then you get a camp and a movement point. And I'll push it. To um, uh, here, I think this one was yes. full. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well done. Yep. Stephen. Oh. Okay. So we're going to have this pretty ground mm. pigments again, for which I have to discard, discard a card. card. You get one of each. Which is going to be him. dot. So I'm going to carry You're on with almost my painting. Finished, it's you? nearly paint, nearly done. So a red dot, yep. a blue dot, and a grey dot. So you've got one more dot. I have one more and dot. And that's it. Guess where that's coming from. Wow. Let's go painting. Okay. Which is going to cost me a tool, a tool to finish that. And as many lines as you want. And which as is, many lines Which as is I the like, complete thing. Which is the complete thing. So that one, that one... That one, that one, and that one, and that so, one. So, immediate benefit. Immediate benefit. Sacred stone tile is six points. Six points. And then you've got a random so animal from random the top animal. of the deck. A woolly rhino. And max food. And max... F oh, that's... Uh, yeah, that's fine. Cool, I was going to spend... There's no point because I don't need labour. Yeah. Max food. Okay. So you cross out all of those benefits. Complete cave painting, which is all of the points for the outside line, however many that is, how at the end of the game. At the end of the game, yeah. Just put that aside for a second. You get one torch and activate a leg benefit. So one torch is going to be is an idol. idol. Yeah. And one leg benefit is ooh, probably going to be another idol. Okay. And then that's it. All done. Yeah. Discard your card. And my go. I have no culture cards. Uh, you've gone to the space that I wanted. You can still have it. No, no, you haven't gone to the space I wanted. No, no, I haven't. Because I need that sacred stone tile that gives points for tipped saber tooth cards. Um, so, we've got a crafter. That's two labour. Spend a food for a third labour to buy one of these cards. And it will be... Stargazing. Mm -hmm. Uh, then we'll move to here. I will spend two food, one tool to buy this, which goes on there, which gets me a tribe card to my discard pile, which will be a crafter. And then we go to here and get a food and a tool. Let's meet up. I'll go here. And, oh no, I thought he'd got away with it. Uh, <laughs> however, one tool for the megalith. A tool for the megalith, yeah, which, which will is go there. Bury a card and an idol. Sorry, tribesman. Okay. Your time has come. Uh, and so.
So next. Now I'll go here. Yep. And one, two, three tools and three labour. There's two of them. One more labour. Which means I've killed all my tribes. <laughs> All of the ones I got left are too good. I mean, I, I would have thought you buried them when they're dead, but, but you're <laughs> burying them when they're still alive. Well, we're helping them on the chart that particular course. I'm going to have to waste a point. So that's one, two, three and a half. Yep. So three and a half gets me three cards. So I'll have a. You spent three tools? Three tools, yeah. So I'll have um, uh, an elder, a crafter. And a pathfinder boots, and they go into my into your hand. hand and play. Yep. And then, What's going if on? you want to spend a food, I do. Get another card to your discard pile, which will be a elder. Okay, and then you can bury two cards, and you get an idol. I assume the idol is finishing off the honor track. I'll bury that. Bury another card as well. I haven't got any. We'll do it for I haven't got any mm -hmm. cannon fodder left. Uh, it'll have to be something useful. So it might as well be a pathfinder. Yeah. We've moved you up on the honor track. I assume that's what you were. One, two, three, you wanted to do? Four, five, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yes, I've got my seven. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, yes, thank you. Thanks, that's You're all done. 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 Yeah. Discard your cards. I could have used one of these. I could have sacrificed one of these, couldn't I? But, it no. doesn't matter. It's the same. Yeah, no, no, no. Well, it's, it's up to you. Elder Sorry, or I'm Pathfinder. Happy, I'm happy with the one. Done? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Culture card. Discard a card. Discard a card. Place a megalith. So, where is this going to go? Mm. I'm maxed on food. I don't really want to do paint. It's going to go here, I think. Or an idle and two points. Two points. What's that? Berry. Berry card. Okay. And then we better go. I think migrating. Okay. How many new camps do you want? Oh, none. I'm none. You're all on the board. It's all about moving and getting stuff. So I'm happy with this. Mm hmm. That's done. So I need to move one, two, three. Three labour, I think. One, two, three. Which will be... Three. One, two... And a half. Three. Yep. And a half. And then three food. Yep. For a village. For a village, which is going to go here. And then uh, that's it. Yeah, that's that action done. Okay. Yeah, can you move me down, please? So I'm going to play stargazing. I'll spend a tool, place a megalith. Right. So. Are we looking at these dots then? I'm not sure. All depends if I'm planning to go painting, and I'm not sure I am. All the bonuses. Oh no, the hunting bonus is not gone yet. Well, we know we like the bit of hunting, don't we? So I think I will go here. So I paint a red dot and, and two, two lines. lines. So that'll be uh, that one. And that one, sure. That one. Yeah. Okay, so that's my culture card done. I don't want to play another culture card. Um, so yeah, we'll go hunting with my chief. So I get a tool. Right, do I have any hunters in hand? I do not. I got the wrong, got the wrong ones. We do have 
a brave, so a brave on his own with two tools, is a fourth stag moose. That's a lot of animals. Over. And a second woolly rhino. Yeah, I think that's it. We then tip. Sabre tooth cat for a full set of four tip sabre tooth catses. And then we get a random animal from the top of the deck. Now, we would like this to be a woolly rhino. There are ten of them. It's a woolly mammoth. Oh, that's actually even better. Well, no, it's the same. It's three points. It's good. Um, yeah, it's me done. Third and final turn for round three. Resting. Draw a card. Oh, that's good. Tip, Mr. Mammoth. Um, yes. Push your, push your food to max. No. I'm not going to tip my mammoth. Okay. I'm sticking with him. I'm not, I'm not so casual with my slaughtering of my pets. <laughs> you are on your side of the table. Oh. It's just I think, cats. I think casual, yeah. we, casual animal collection. Yeah, we, we're all right with these. It's cats. We've got a problem with cats. Just cats don't and tell, horses. Don't cats tell and horses. And horses. <laughs> right. Uh, you done, Peter? Eclipse pile. Uh, um, pile is? Eclipse pile is one, two, three, four, Again, you five, can, six. Again, you can keep cards from one turn to the next. Yeah, I know you can. He loves his, <laughs> he loves his eclipses. All right, I'm also going to rest. Okay. So. Well, I'm not. Draw a card. Yeah. I do not want to tip my woolly mammoth. I will three. Okay. We'll go in there. I'm going to spend two tools for two more camps. I will then play a Pathfinder for uh, two labour, which is two movement points. Um, sure. Yeah, I mean, that's not doing anything, but yeah, it's okay. I think that's okay. Is that okay? It's not okay. Yeah, no, it's okay. Three food. Build a village there. And that's my go done. Now. You two have both rested. You've got six cards in your Eclipse Pile. You've got three. So I'm going to keep these two cards in my hand. Seems wise. Mm. Okay. Reveal Eclipse Pile. My Eclipse is four and a half. Zero for me. <laughs> With one three, culture card. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So turn order does not change. Peter, your first megalith bonus. Okay, well, let's have a megalith. He's going on top. Hey, it's there. eight points. Right, next. Cards that you've played. Cards played. Brave gets me a tool. Uh, a crafter. Two crafters you've got. Two tools. Another crafter gets me uh, two tools. Uh, a hunter gets me a village and camp. A camp, camp, and sorry, camp and a food. Um, Pathfinder. It's two movement points. Gives me two movement points, which I think will be um, yes. And this one to come out here. Here? Yes. Okay. And then, and then another the tribe card. Gets me another tribe card. To your discard pile. To my discard pile. Which will be a um, uh, uh, elder, I think. Yeah. Okay. Leg benefits, none. Nope. Terrain board benefits. So we'll go through them that way. Sure. So a tool is a food. Two food. An idle. And two points yeah. here on this one. Two points. I presume I got my five points. Yeah. You did, yeah. Two points. Two points. Another idle. Another two points. Torch. What torches do? 
Oh, uh, just scribble. Either so have scribble an idol. Or have an idol. Or, yeah. Which gets yeah. me a point, doesn't it? Nope. No. Oh, that's that's, that's four, four to one. It works differently. Another tool. Another tool is another food. A megalith. megalith. Six points. Uh, and two food. We, I think we all did that two food. No, I don't no? think so. Because okay. we, did, we did that two food. That two food. Sure. So that's the terrain board done. Yep. Now your player board. Uh, three cards, which I'll do in a second because there's only two there. Um, a tool, which is a food. Which is bury a card. Which I don't need to do, so I won't. Okay. And draw three cards. Draw three cards. Yeah. So two there's 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 two, two of the three. And one, so more card. one more from here. Right, you're all done. Stephen, draw a card. Yep. Then your cards that you've played. So bury. Yep. And and I think another bury, because I do okay. not need to do any more painting. That's right. why I didn't kill the mammoth. Right. Because <laughs> I knew I... All the food coming I, in. I was yep. maxed out on tools. So. Right. Leg benefits. Here we go. Um, now this is going to be good. Bury. Bury a leg. Mmm. What have we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. An idle. And idle. Tool and two food. One tool. Yep. Two food. Two camps. Two camps. Two movement points. Two movement points. Which will be one. Two. Okay. And then a red dot and two lines, which you can't have. Which you can't you're all have. done. Right. Terrain board benefits. Idle. Yep. Nothing there. Megalith. Megalith. Mm hmm. Let's go for random animal. Random animal from the top of the deck. Another we'll, cat. Well, we'll look after the cat. And then a point. And a point. Okay. Now board. you play a board. Six, Six points, points for your torch. A tool, bing, which is going to be a food, food and draw, draw a card. card. Okay, right, me. I get an idol. So at this point, I'm thinking I'll go. Yes, I might still catch up. Um, cards that I played, none. Leg benefits is three movement points. Now, this one's not doing anything. Um, not quite sure where it would go, where it would do something. But also, I want to be building another village around yellow. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I'm going to move that one to there. Yeah, three movement points. I don't need all of this movement points. Uh, I'm going to leave that there for now. So that's my leg benefits. Terrain board. Idle. Move up to there. Uh, two points. Nothing. Another two points. Uh, torch, which is an idle, which is three points. And that's it. And then my player board. Draw a card. Can't draw a card. Gain a tool. And I gain two 12 points. Cool. Yeah. Done? Done. Final round. So we want two new animals in the hunting grounds. We want one new culture card. Oh. <laughs> now, what's the, how does the sequence of this work? Because I've got four cards. No, so at the end of the eclipse phase, those go to your... And they get shuffled in. So they yeah. get shuffled in. Yeah. And then draw five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Right. Final round. I can't call this. 
Um, I mean, you're going to get a lot of points at the end of the game for your... get points at the end of the game. But I'm going to get a huge Should amount of points to... at the end of the game for my animals. You've got the animals. I don't know where Peter's end game scoring is coming from. He's I picked up a lot of cards. Points. Well, he's got a ton of cards, yes. Yeah, yeah we'll see. Oh, well, mm. I'm here. I'm going to get best here. That's true. You are. So there's 15 points there. Yeah. Yeah. Close. And I might, if I can max out up here as well. I don't know why I'm shuffling my hand cards. You should. I just like shuffling cards. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Peter. Peter's first. Yeah. There's still lots of juicy points available on here as well. Mm. Speaking of which, uh, let's turn a final megalith. Tool into a megalith as well. You're going for the points? Put it there. So that's six points for you and one point for Stephen. Now let's go here. We'll turn a food into a tool. Um, and use an elder. Which is worth so two, two labour. Labor. So two labour. That's four labour. And two tools gets me. Did you just spend two food? I'm not sure why I spent two food. You got two labour from the elder. Oh yeah. And two tools. And two tools is two cards. You didn't, didn't need to spend that. Yeah. That's two cards. Another elder. Another two labour. Another two. Yep. That's four cards. That's four cards. So I'll have one of each except the painter, please. What have you got against painters? <laughs> they do them, good work here. They do very good work. One of them did my, did my kitchen really they're, badly. They're all too young. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, sorry. Okay, now it's spend a food to put a card in your discard pile if you want. Uh, no. But I can get a... Yeah, one of these into your discard pile. I'll have a uh, Pathfinder, I think. Okay. Into the discard. discard pile. Bury two cards if you want to. No. Nope. And get an idle. Which is up there. Okay. All done? Yeah. Discard your card. Stephen's go. A tool for a megalith. Which I think is going to go... I don't need the food. So add an animal to the hunting ground. And then take an animal. We like the cats. Because yeah. we know they get mistreated over there. Yeah. <laughs> At the refuge. Um, culture. Yep, sure. I'm going to discard a card to play another culture card. Okay. Which is discard, discard a, card a card for another megalith. For another Are megalith. Are you going to grab the two... Cards. And then I'm going to grab ah. the two cards, which might just be these. Just about to do that. Oh, because you've no cards in your deck. No cards in my deck. So you literally reshuffle that and yeah. get them back. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Seems quite strong. Well, I don't know. You've got a very thin deck. I have an extremely thin deck. I, I had exactly enough to pick up just now. Yeah. I may need to go and get some tribes people. Yeah. So let's do that and thing. Did you have the food as well? Okay. Yep. Right. So, culture cards done. Culture cards done. Let me go and get some tribes people, please. Which is over. Yep. There. Yep. So I need to spend probably four tools. Four tools and four labour for four cards. Four tools. And one, two, three, four. I'll take all the fours, but not the painter, please, because oh. my, uh, my painter commune is quite good enough. Okay, there you go. Thank you. But do you want to spend a food for another card? Yes, because points. So, I, who does the migration? We'll take him, please. Pathfinder? Yes, please. Thank you. So that's to discard. And you can bury a card if you want to. I may as well, because I don't need... So you guys have both gone to the same space. That's interesting. So, I'm going to do some stargazing. 
Um, yeah, the two cards has uh, sneaked away from me. Uh, sorry about that. Well, yeah, but no. So we'll go here and get two food because we're going to need that food in a minute, I think. Don't really need to go hunting. Do we want another sacred zone? Now, there's that idle one, which Peter's going to pick up and you, get a million points for. Well, remember back along, I played a denial one on it. You did. That well, away. it's actually, it's not it's bad, not bad for, for me. You. It's a few points for me. Mm -hmm. um, but he's going to be maxing out this as well. Yeah, it's just going to cost me all of my food. I can lend you some. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> so I think, I think we'll do it. So I'm going to go here. We're going to play a tribeswoman. Although I'm, I'm going to end up not using her ability. So we'll use a crafter and another crafter. So that's four labour. Um, yeah, that picks up one of these with one labour spare. Um, well, actually, that one's pretty good for me. Storytelling. I'll take storytelling. But one labour left. Um, I can't spend the food because... Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I haven't got the tools. I can't learn your tools. I'm, I'm out as well. Yeah, hang on, I can't do this. Because I need a tool and three food. Oh, for the sacred stone? For the sacred stone. Mm. And the only way of me getting a tool would have been the tribes of women, which would have cost me the food. So, rewind. Can't do this. That goes back. They go back. That comes back. I'm still megalithing there for the two food. So that's... Oh, did I do the idol? I don't think I did the idol. So we'll go up there. Right. So instead of that, uh, we might need to go hunting just so I can tip an animal to get some <laughs> to get some food and stuff. I mean, I could tip the Argentavis. That gets me there, but... Oh. Yeah. We're desperately short of food and tools, and the way we get food and tools... <laughs> is from animals. So, let's go hunting with my chief that gets me a tool. I will play the hunter for two labour. Right, do we need to? Because I've only got... Hmm. Oh. Yeah, no, that's fine. Play the hunter for two labour. Use one of those labour... To, uh, with a tool to take the ground sloth. Um, yeah, which I'm probably then going to have to kill for the tool. That's the downside. Uh, so I've got one labour floating, but I've no extra tools. So. We'll tip an animal and it's going to be the ground sloth for a tool and for food. And then we get a random animal from the top of the deck and it is a woolly mammoth. Mm, nice. Which is a shame because I've already got two yeah, woolly mammoths and out. three is of no use. Right, that is me done. Right, well, the crafter gets me two. two. Another crafter gets me another two. Another crafter, that's yeah, six. Yeah, six labour. That's two that's culture six cards. Six labour, which is two culture cards. I think I'll have that one. He's taking the card I wanted as well. He's, that goes into he's just like, he's just going to have this one as well, no? <laughs> I'm going to use... I only get to use one of them. So, it's just so it's the points. points then. It's just the points. Yeah. So, I'll take that one for the points. Then I'll go down here. Free food and a tool. Oh no, it's only your first one. Yeah. 
So one food and one tool. Wow. Yeah. Cheap at half the price. And you can bury a card if you wanted to. Nope. And then you get a food and a tool back. Oh, okay, Stephen. Okay, so I think we are going to go migrating, please. This one. So a pathfinder with two is two going labor. to be one, two. Yep. Three food. No other movement or anything like that? I don't think so. Okay. Because those are my camps. Yeah. That's going there. And then you get to place a camp and move a camp. Place a camp. Yeah. All done? Uh, yes. Well, the painting bonus action is available. Who'd have thunk it? Is uh, it painting is so yes Is it of any use to me? Well, I've got... I've got this culture card. So it's two blue dots and as many lines as I want. Well, I'm definitely doing that blue dot. I'm just not sure I'm going to be able to do any other blue dots. So... It's still expensive for you, isn't it? I'm going to do that blue dot. I think we might have a complete change of plan here. And lines is going to be that one, that one, and that one. Okay, right. So... I wasn't going to paint, but I think I've just worked out a combo which gets me some cool stuff. Okay. So I'm going painting without a painter. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to paint two grey boxes. So I'm going to play the tribeswoman, food for spending a food for a tool. There's one and a half labour there. Play the crafter for the other, so that's two labour and two tools. Yep. Gets me two greys. Two greys. Which is there and there. Now, I can't do any other greys. But if I really wanted to, I could do a red or a blue. But I don't think I want to. All that is is a point there. Yeah. I'm going to draw as many lines as I want to, there and there, and there, which means I get 10 points for this sacred stone tile. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. Then we move down here, I get a torch, which is an idol, which is five points. Five points. And then I get a leg benefit, which will be to... Well, this one's... I'm losing out at the moment if you want to move that. Yeah, but I'm planning on... Doing stuff. Doing stuff, and I need three on the board because okay. I haven't got any tools to build anymore. Sure. So, there. Done. Final turn of the game. Peter. Peter first. He's a rest. Rest. Go on, rest. <laughs> you haven't rested this year. Although that other sacred stone is looking very nice to you, isn't it? Get me six points. Yeah. Seven points because I'd take another elder card. Yep. Yeah. Right, any culture cards first? Because you, you picked up some last turn, so. And you can play more than one culture card if you want to. You're happy to discard cards. Well, I think this is an obvious one to do. Um, so, one tool. It's going to cost me a tool. <laughs> Three idols. Which leaves me on zero tools. Yeah. Because you wouldn't be able to build the sacred stone. No. For that. Okay. So three idols. Three idols. One, two, three. Which is a card to your discard pile. At this stage, it doesn't matter. So. Painter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And any other culture cards? 
Uh, oh, that's an interesting idea. I'll go and I'll do this. Yeah. Um, I will use the tribeswoman simply to turn a food into a tool. Yeah, that's one labour, or one and a half labour. It's one and a half labour. I won't buy a... Okay, you're knife. just buying the sacred stones. The only reason for using her was to do that. I'm just going to buy the sacred stone, Sorry. which is a tool and two food. food to get that. Which is and a card to your discard yeah, pile. I think that's as which one. Yeah, and apologies for that. Okay. The ordinate amount of time I spent. Hold on. Yeah, that's my go. Right. And create your eclipse pile. Discard your cards to create your eclipse pile. You're done. How many cards going in? Four. Four. Oh, um, no, six. Six. No, nine. No, wait a minute. No, wait. Fifth. So I put some. I put some to one side, which are the ones that I wasn't going to use. Okay, so I think that sacred stone's of interest to me, except I have no tools and no food. Which so one? This one. Oh, sorry, that one. Yeah. So the, 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 the three. You're on three different ones. It will get you three points. Yeah, three points. So it's not that. And if you can build a megalith here. Yeah, which but you I probably I, can. Well, I probably will, but I can't afford the. Um, the cost. I'm a bit stuck without tools. Resting them. It may very well be resting just because I don't have any way of creating the resources. So yeah, it is resting. A rest. Draw a card. Are you tipping an animal? No, because that's one point. As it is, if you tip it, if it's I tip currently it, no points. It's no points, and Unless I've got nothing you're gonna, there. You're going to get an idle movement, though, aren't you? I should get idle movement, idle movement. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's probably better to tip it. Well, it's it's worth... They're worth one and a half points. If you one and a half tip points, it. yeah. Sure, let's do that. I'm going here. Card drawn. No culture cards. And one, two, three. Oh, yeah, four, Eclipse Pile. Five, six, seven, eight. Right, double Pathfinder for four movement points to go one, two, three, four. Three food. Build a village there. Uh, and that's it. And finished, and I've got one card in hand, which I will put into my Eclipse pile. Right, Eclipse phase. I bid one. Am I going first? Oh, he's here. Uh, so, one and a half, three, six. That's more than me. Oh, right, sure. More than that. Okay, cool. Right, so, Stephen, you're first. Yes. You get a megalith. Mmm. So that's one, two... Three, four, five points. That would be five points for and you a point for and you. a point for me. Let's do that. So five for red, one for purple. Okay. Um, other things? So these people now, yes? People next. So bury a card. I don't think I need to. Just check. One, got seven. two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. So don't need to do that. Activate this, which will be an idle, for three points. Three points. So move a camp to place a camp mm -hmm. and a food. Two tools. Gain somebody to my discard pile. Yes, painters, of course. Another painter to activate something. So that or that. Probably this. Mm -hmm. uh, we did that one, didn't we? That was the painter. Yeah. And the mover camp two. Maybe just spoil this. Well, yeah, or you could move it to there to get a point. Which is probably better. Probably better for you, yeah. Okay, 
Right. Done. They're all leg, done. leg benefits. Yep. Bury a card. You don't need to. Take a tool. Two food. An idle. Which will now be this one. Yep. Because if you get that up to the top, it's five points. Yep. Um, place a camp. I've got to do these in any order. Yep. So there's there's the second food that I missed out. Place right, another yep. camp. Move two. Right, okay, yeah. So I don't need any more food. Uh, you could, oh, no. So you've got influence here. I've got four here yeah. and four here. Which I can't overcome. So maybe... It's either, um, I guess it's up here. Gives you two food, but you can't have the two food. Or it's here. Which is a torch, which, which is another is, idol. Which is an idol. So two points, one each. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so terrain board. Two points. Two points. An idol. Five, so five points. points. Torch, which is uh, an idol. I'm sure, it's not doing much now. Uh, a tool. Yep. A megalith. Megalith. Can't build anywhere. <laughs> uh, so animals, perhaps? Yeah, add one to the hunting ground and then take one. It's better than a random one. There you go, Arjun Davis. But he doesn't do anything for me, does he? It adds one. It's a wild card for set collection. Oh, is it? Yep. Oh, to here? Yeah. Lovely. It's three points. That's worth a point. Except the cat's uh -huh. eating the Arjun Davis. <laughs> and that's a point as well. So another two? Yeah. Okay. That's the terrain board done. Now your yes. player board. Six points for the sacred stone. Yep. Six points. A tool. Draw two cards, but you probably don't want the two cards. You want the idols instead. I want the idol, which is this. And. So it's draw card, drew card. So which two, is two more idols, yeah. Two more idols, yeah. Which is bury a card bury if you card. want to, but don't you don't need to. to. And that's it. Done. Okay. Peter. So, first of all. Draw a card, presumably don't want to draw a card, you take an idol. Which is tribe card to hand. Yep. Yeah, it's put in your discard pile, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I can't I can't. No, you can't add it to that, I'm afraid. No. Right. Um, now cards that you've played. Okay, so it's, uh, one village, I can't place the second one. Yep. Yeah. Two food. Camp rather, two food. Um, four movement points. Four lots of movements. Yeah. Where do you want to go? I mean, that middle one can go there. Yeah. No. There. Yeah. There to get the and idol. The other one can go there to get the right. Yeah. yeah. So there's. Okay. That's two movements. Is there any point doing any more? I don't think so. Not really. Unless, uh, not, well, not unless you can get over here. And I'll take it. No, take a. Um, take a. Oh, that's better there actually because yeah, you're going to get here. Yeah. Yeah. Discard. I think you just did that. Oh, did I? Yeah. Yeah. That one? Yeah. Sorry, I thought I was working from left to right. Okay. Um, Leg benefits. None? No. Terrain board. So you're green. Yeah. So tool. Yeah. Two food. Yeah. An idle. We should put the top. Uh, nope. Nope. Two points. A torch, which is an idle, which one is a point. point. A tool, uh, a megalith, which is a card, which is an idol, which is a point. point. Two food, and now your player board. Uh, three cards, three which idols, is three which idols, is three plus idols. your two other idols, which is five points. Five points, yeah. A tool. And then 10 points for your first sacred stone, and then six for your second one. Nice. 16. Still, I, I can't call this game. I, <laughs> I don't know. It's been our closest game yet. An idol for you, Paul? This uh, one? Yes, please. We get two tools for that. Right, leg benefits. I'm going to place a camp. And then I've got three movement points. 
point. Point probably best. It all depends how many idols I'm about to get. No, you're right. Yeah. Can you get... Unless I can get, can to, you get there, to there, one point is better. One point is better. So we'll send him over there to the waterfall. Right. That's my leg benefits done. So terrain board. I get a tool. A planter. I got two points. Idle. Oh, idle, which is up there. A torch, which is an idle. So up there. And then a point. Okay, and then player board. Two cards, which is two idols. So very card two, if you wish. Card. Yep. Um, a tool. And fourteen points. Yeah. I got lucky with the um, with the cats coming out with that title very on display. Nice. Yeah. I think that's it. Are we end game scoring? Ying Ying? I believe so. So, what, what is the order for end game scoring? Okay, the end game scoring first is the offering track. So, this one first. This one first? Yeah. So, Peter. Peter does one for one. You and I, what we do? Points. Three for one. Two points is 73. Two points for me. Four for me, please. Then the honour track. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's 15. 15. 15. Oh, I think we don't have it. I'm second, but I've only got four cards. So six. So six. And I'm third, but I do have my seven. So six for me also. Exactly the same as the last end. Okay. Then we collect all of our cards together. Scoring cards. And we get the points from them. I think Peter's got a lot more on this one. Oh, did I get my two points for my yeah, Not yet. Okay, not yet. Wow. I thought I'd taken more cards than that. I've got 11. It's not very much at all. Fourteen. Right. Okay. So that's cards. Uh, and then it's animals. I will take six, please. Twenty-two. And then cave paintings board. This is where you catch up. I don't think it's going to be anywhere near enough. Is it 22? Oh. <laughs> it's close. I got nine. My, my outside line, my longest outside line is nine. 24. Two, four. 14. There you go. So 24 is the longest line then. I think so. That'll be around the outside. Because yeah, yeah. there's a dot there, isn't there? Yeah, it's difficult to see the dots. Actually. Yeah, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Yeah, yeah I think 24. Yeah, because I rubbed out the first one just to say that's why I started. Right, okay. Well, there we go. I mean, it's closer than our previous games. It's closer than the previous. Peter wins again, but with a lower score. Normal. Yeah, he's rubbish. Yeah. 114, 112, <laughs> 101. So cave paintings, similar to Rivers and Rafts, it changes the game quite a bit. But yeah, in a different way. Yeah, in a different way. Rivers and Rafts changed the game in this way. It doesn't add randomness, which Rivers and Rafts did. It with the didn't fish. add the fish. But you didn't do much painting in the end. I didn't do any. So you would... You, you played the basic game any? again. Oh, I mean, you didn't do any at all. I didn't do any at all. didn't do any at all. I don't feel in the head at the beginning. Right, okay. So, so you really didn't do any rubbish. painting. Yeah. So, 
Yeah, you did loads of painting. I did lots of painting. And I did a little bit of painting. Mm. See, I thought you were going to... Because those, those leg benefits, getting them early, continually paying off, yeah. they do. I thought it was going to be... That did look they're, as though it was going to be good. Strong. It's not quite as strong as I thought it was mm. going to be. Yeah. But there are only four rounds. There are only four rounds. Yeah. Anyway, we are all done. That is it. We haven't seen everything. <laughs> all right? I mean, we've seen ancestors. We've seen rivers and rafts. Oh, we've seen cave paintings. There's tribal... There are spirit. modules. Well, first of all, the base game... Nine familiars. Yeah, the base game has glacier... Uh, glacier t- modules, which basically makes these a little bit more powerful. Yeah. It also has uh, a rest module, which means resting is a little bit more powerful as well. So that's all in the base game. Then we've got Aurora Borealis, where each player gets a unique card. Then we've got the Canine Familiars. Uh, then we've got some promo cards as well. There's the Yeti, the Squirrel. Then there's the Mammoth. So there's a Mammoth little mini expansion where there's a Mammoth that moves around this board. Okay. So there's all sorts of extra bits that you can... So you could probably play hundreds of times in. without playing the same combination. You could, twice. yeah. You can use all sorts. Uh, one thing I do want to do, I'm going to add to my bucket list, is to play one game everything, with absolutely everything. 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 <laughs> the kitchen sink. But it would need everybody... It would need The only people I know that could play that right now are you two. Sure. Because it would need... You know, can you imagine teaching somebody everything and all of the expansions and all of the modules all at once? It would be insane. The tutorial would be about three hours. It would be a very, very long <laughs> tutorial. Anyway, we are all done. Thank you very much to you too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to everybody for watching. And as I mentioned at the start, uh, if you've enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, give me a like. And if you are in a position to be able to support me on Patreon and help to keep the channel going, it's patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. Uh, that's it this is the fifth video the last video in the series will be a solo playthrough which I will be planning at some point in the next couple of weeks but for now thanks for watching take care and we'll see you all next time bye 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 bye